Damn it! Do you um, honestly no, think no. that the person and the character is intimidated by the character and the person lightning bliss? Oh, it's Fuck. cute. It's barking at me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be arf, arf, fair, arf. to be fair, who is Solo even intimidated of? I don't think I've ever heard of him ever being intimidated by anybody. I know he. Uh, there is one thing he's intimidated doesn't. of, but I'm not going to mention here because it's private. Okay then. Bad. Well, like, okay, in, in videos, have you ever been? In videos, no. Okay. Uh, Bliss. Yeah. It must have been Ninja, because I did tell you mm -hmm. that we were together, uh, after TrotCon, but, like, nothing about needing advice or anything. Got it. I think he- I, I can't remember if it was something along the lines of how does one make that work, and... Again, this was a really long time ago, and mm. it might have even been before you guys got together. I mean, you dated someone from well, Germany. That... How'd you make that work? Well, if it was before we got to- I would've thought we would only be talking about me and Solar's relationship at that point, wouldn't we? Um, you told no. me you had a crush on Ninja at one point, I did. So. Well, I um, told and you- And I think Ninja noticed? I don't know. I, again, I'm really, really fuzzy. I might be even mixing memories well, up. Two years before we got together, yes, I confessed that I had a crush on him, and we said, no, nah, we're in college, let's wait a bit. Yeah. And then nothing happened. Well, some did happen, but it resulted in us just not being Damn it. with anybody, so we just, I don't know, hit it yeah. off. I mean, th I mean, you guys have been together for how long? In Two a couple years. weeks, it'll be years. Yeah, yeah there you yeah. go. You guys are making it work. We're making good progress, actually. Hooray! Yeah. Right. Yeah. Nice. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. For those in the chat that are curious, I, I don't need to tell this to Lex or Ninja. They're, they're living it. Um, yeah, long distance relationships can be hard. It doesn't matter if they're across the pond or several states away. It can be hard. But you know what helps, though. Mm -hmm. You know what helps. Mm. And this might be weird to admit, <laughs> uh, but we never had sex. Oh my! It oh my. helps. It helps oh. because the, the the feeling isn't really there. Like it, it's solely emotional. Is what it's you mean? just a lot of emotional stuff. We do want to. Yeah. We do want to. You know, get back together. You know, IRL yeah, so and true. do it. But, but yeah. like you know, the 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 fact that we've been able to keep this up for such a long time is because we haven't done it yet. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, also if you're together, also if you're together, it's just like faithfulness. Yeah. It, it really is just commitment and faithfulness and, uh, you know, just, just hanging it in there, make, make plans to see each other, you know. I mean, I'm in a, I'm in a, I'm in a long distance relationship too, and I'm still doing good. Hmm. Oh yeah, Jesse got together not long after, um, Lux and Ninja and me and Solar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got with Felix. And these days, they're obviously a lot more common now because the internet has just provided so much access for people to meet up, right. even if it's not oh, physical. Man. There's so many people, like, in, in my actual life, like, where I, where I go to my job and everything, that I say, yeah, my boyfriend's been in Texas for, like, the last two years. And they're like, how do you even date? Do you go on dates? I'm like, yeah, we go on dates, we watch movies, we play games, we do lots of stuff together. Mm -hmm. it yeah, no, when I used to work at that daycare and I and I told them, uh, my, my colleague, that I was engaged to my boyfriend who lives in Germany, she's like, how do you make that work? I could never do that. And it would be, that that's a no-go for me if I can never see them. And I'm like, I'm like, in the back of my mind, yeah, I guess that was kind of a thoughtless thing to say, but she was legitimately curious how I could make that work because she, she was upfront honest that she couldn't commit to a relationship like that. And I said, uh, stubborn, I guess. <laughs> well, a lot of it has to do with the physical part of the relationship. Like Emerald won't, Emerald won't will not get into a long distance relationship because he needs the physical affirmation there. Mm, yeah, Ninja it's not so much yeah. just because Hard he's Ninja and I are both snubbed. Demi. We rely on emotional relationship first before physical. Yeah, like, I, so I won't say work. a thing I about quit. sexual anything here. But my god, the snuggles. I miss cuddling so bad. <laughs> I do, I, yeah, I miss the snuggles, but, you know. I just spit water all over myself, because I... <laughs> I, 
<laughs> Don't you yeah. laugh at my cuddles. Damn I'm it. just adorable, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie, waking up next to Kayla for a few days a few months ago was pretty nice. Cuddles. <laughs> no cuddles so are fellow, nice. Also a fe fellow demisexual, nice. Mm-hmm. Okay, great, cool. That was uh, awkward. It's anyway. just I don't. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> well, it's All right, uh, month is over. Let's change the subject. It, I'm joking. Yeah, yes. long distance, yes. long distance relationships aren't for any, a, any, everybody, everybody, everybody. everybody. Yeah. yeah. Uh, depends on, but for me at least, I think it depends on whether you need the physical affirmation there more than the emotional, the emotional bit to it. Honestly, I, I had bad experience with an attempted uh, long-distance relationship before Solar, and I wasn't really willing to try them, but then he ah. said, well, we could just give it a chance and see how it goes, and I'm like, yeah, we could, because even if we're gonna go back to different states, I'm still gonna like you when I went home, so, yeah, might as well give it a chance, see how it goes. Well, and it went really, really well. Best oh, yeah. relationship I've ever had. Oh, yeah, I had two really long -distance long -distance online relationships before Lars, years. and... Neither, no, both. The, I'm not. I'm not going to talk about the first one. Uh, the second one, the other guy ended it because, like, there were too much expectations for him to visit. I guess, um, and he also didn't like that I was going to college, because um, apparently he had a, yeah, he he had a problem with girls going to college because apparently they would cheat at cheat on him. And I'm okay. like, well, what do you want me to do to prove that I'm not? Because I can't. Like but yeah, then he kind of became a control freak, and then after that, he just ended it. <coughs> so I'm like, okay, it wasn't for a few more years till I would meet Lars online in the same location, same video game. Da 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 da. Here we are. Ye. Da -da. Ye. I had three long distance relationships before Ninja. One of them was Solar. One of them was a guy that. Uh, uh, again, the emotional relationship was there, uh, but when you know we actually met each other face to face and saw each other in a group setting, then I was like, ah, ah, ah nah, ah, I'm good. And then the third guy was just the dick after a month. Ah, yeah, yeah. No. Unfortunately, there are some relationships where a guy just acts nice until he gets Damn to a it. certain point where he thinks he has you, and then he's like, mm -hmm. "Okay, got her in the bag. That don't need to be nice anymore." Mm -hmm. That was my ex. Those. It's me yeah. and my ex fiance, and we were a long distance relationship for a long while. He lived in Washington. <laughs> I lived here in Texas. I will say, there is an avid practice I do when it comes to like. Well, okay, if you're ever feeling like someone else is flirting with you and you're with- you're already with somebody, or you actually have- there's like something there towards another person and you're not sure if it's right or not, stop, think about it, say, have a good day to that one person, then go to your significant other and tell them you love them. The feelings come right back. Oh. Mm -hmm. Hey, Golden, mm -hmm. do you have any health items? Um, they were all used up. I mean, the one that I have is that one. I was just saying, because you're pretty low, though. Yes, I yeah, know. I'm assuming they're faithful, yeah. I'm, like, what, talking to death more? in DMs. Yeah. Do you have any more health yeah. items? We were just talking about that. Our house. I'm like in the middle, in the middle of <laughs> our house. <laughs> okay. Our house. Oh dear. Just have a wait and see delay. I have a reality delay, but I'll sleep really well. And that's the point. Uh, I can't wait for next week's episode. Of Loki. Damn it! I can barely hear you, Riley. That's weird. Oh, wow. He said yeah, you can barely Riley's... wait for next week's uh, episode of Loki. How about now? Yeah. It's a little better, I think. You gotta turn Riley up, because, like, beginning of the stream, he was suddenly super quiet. Yeah. He's not 100% mm -hmm. for me, unless I boost him up to 200. I uh, I've got him around 150 now. Yeah, no, 
like before, oh, like there. early early stream you sounded normal. He's so fucking close. And then you I got know. so quiet. We don't know why. My ass is clenching right now. <laughs> Damn it! Not this one. I hate it when it does that. Dude, it's fine. You still got health left. You can do it. I believe. You can do it. I believe. Not believe it. in the heart of the cards. No, 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 no. <laughs> Just make it the blow, just do the blow, just do the blow, just- Yes! Fucking kill it! No. FINALLY! Okay, I- Yes! I think I'm Yay! gonna- I think I'm gonna sign off for the night. Alright. Okay. Okay. See you later. See ya. Oh. Good night. Good night. Bitch. Huh. <laughs> That's what she always does. Yeah. Oh, people are talking about the later Someone's installments of those. X. Um, I hated X5. X6 was also unplayable. X7 was a joke. I heard X8 was trash. Which one was the one where they introduced Axel? Seven. Yeah, that was like their edgy phase. Yeah, like I was able to beat X5, but I had such a hard time playing it because some of the bosses were cheap. Like one of them called the Skyver likes to push you off of the platform. It's like, what a cheapskate, dude. Also, the fight between X and Zero was just so underwhelmingly easy that I just felt no tension. The only plus side is that I love the music in that one. Meanwhile, X6 mm -hmm. is just pure garbage. And 7 and 8. Well done. Yep. Oh yeah, another cutscene. Oh. Oh, we shall see how this goes then. We? His armor has boobs. Hi, Dr. <laughs> Wily. So, this is what happened to me. This is my fate. I couldn't save anyone after all. After all. <laughs> it's forcing the emotion. I hate it. Not there. Stop, That's a huge bitch! <laughs> I feel actually sickened by the style art. Like, I know it was the 90s, but holy uh, shit, that I, doesn't I, I help. I can't. <laughs> I can at least respect they committed to actually making these anime bits yeah. instead of just oh yeah no just it's... showing us a frozen scene of the game and text dialogue yeah, yeah, yeah. like this scene like it's nice to look at because X five they started to do that it was just a bunch of like pictures and text boxes and onward like X seven they had more voice acting and dialogue but at that point it's just I don't even care <laughs> yeah. Uh, something else worth mentioning, X5 was supposed to be the last entry, but because the X-Series made them, uh, Capcom a lot of money, they just went and made another installment, and, uh, it was rushed out to the market. That's why it was awful. Mm. Uh, Woohoo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Capcom yeah. can do quality work, like, even with rushing out games, like, the the fucking Battle Network games came out ev every single fucking year, and they, I'd say most of them were pretty quality. Hmm. Then again, I'm also, I'm, I'm a big Battle Network and Star Force fan, so, yeah. Oh yeah, the fucking story of X6 was fucking stupid. It's like, Zero, how did you come back? I put myself together. You fucking sacrificed yourself at the end of X5, are you kidding me? Like, that doesn't make any sense. This shit back together, right? <laughs> that's, that's, that's assembled his own ass like Legos. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of like that scene from the uh, the uh, 80s Transformers movie. Dude, I'd be stupid. While everybody's all putting their uh, all the components together. It's like that. <laughs> that's what I imagine with Fucking. Zero. Fucking some random ass guy. Pull yourself together, Zero. Hold my bit. Uh, yeah, I hope I can still anticipate to that, even at this hour. So yeah, this was uh, Mega Man X4, despite how trash the voice acting is in the anime cutscenes, and how stupid the fucking Repl Force is written, like, holy shit. Those are, like, those are small potatoes, because this game is excellent. The idea of picking, um, yeah. 
um, a run and gun or a hack and slash. They're both like different experiences on the same level design, and they're so well balanced. Also, just the very fact mm -hmm. you get to play a zero the entire game. Because that was a cock tease back in uh, X3. Hmm. Yeah. Presented by Capcom! A time when they had fucking dignity. <laughs> I mean, they've been doing... Feels so this. long ago. They have, they have kind of redeemed themselves recently with, like, the Resident Evil remakes and Resident Evil 8 and... Okay, yeah, I'll give you that. Take a closer look. The battle has ended, but for some reason, Zero's memories of the past continue to haunt his mind. As a hunter, it is his duty to go after those mavericks, and at the same time, he knows it is his destiny to defeat his friend one day. Two different people, two different fates. In the future, Zero's decision will lead two great hunters into the tragedy. The future is coming. Yeah, that definitely foreshadows um, X5. Wait, so is he, is he in like a time loop or something? It's... If I if I try to like run down the lore of the X series, I'm going to probably bore you to tears or shit's going to fly over your head. Oh, so kind of like Kingdom Hearts, gotcha. Oh, uh, no, this actually, no, this is more coherent than Kingdom Hearts. I mean, fair. fair. It's, not <laughs> more, it's not hard to be more coherent. The only thing that's mm -hmm. weird is that it somehow makes sense. Not, well, not <laughs> somehow makes sense. It's somehow coherent enough that fans enjoy it. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, that was X4, and I hope you guys had fun with whatever conversations we were having, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>